All right, let's try this again. Um, okay, walrus sus early, good. Garlic early. Whetstone. A little interesting. Don't know if I want to, though. I think I'm going to pass on a whetstone and try to go for a sword, I believe. Didn't get the sword. Can't buy the spear, but I did get a wooden buckler, which isn't bad. And I also got a banana and a lump of coal, both of which I need. So I'm just going to take what I got. Probably going to lose this one because we're not, we don't have double DPS. Um, but we do have a form of, you know, some form of healing because of the garlic. 35% um, chance to not take damage pretty much because of the shield. And I think we win that. And then because of spikes taking that little bit of damage that they did was good. Sword on sale. Let's buy you. Let's buy the lump of coal. Let's get the banana and let's get the space that's on sale. That was not bad. A lot of things on sale there. Really, really good. Really, really good. Going to get a shovel, double banana, and double garlic. He's got um, health for sure. A lot. But we have double DPS and spike shield. And we're definitely going to need spike shield to put in some work for us. Um, because we're not going to be able to out DPS. And then he's also putting blind on us as well. Come on. Nope, not happening. Just out heals us. It's crazy. Good game though. Good game, good game. A piggy on sale is interesting. We could also go for another banana, but we need space and we can't do everything. So let's actually, let's go banana because we need the healing. I'm also just going to go pig here, sell the clover um, and get the other walrus sus with a roll. Um, I think we stick with this until I get gloves. I mean, going, you know, turning this into a torch wouldn't be bad, especially since it's on sale. And it increased my DPS, you know what I mean? 25% chance to gain one damage, you know what I mean? So it won't be too bad. It'll be like a slight increase in DPS. It might help. You never know, you know what I mean? Um, he's pretty much got the same exact build we have, except we have uh, three spikes. He has one, but I mean, he's got double wet, so he's going to be able to kill us before, um, I believe, spike. Oh, never mind. I take that back. I thought he was going to be able to kill us before Spikes was even going to have a chance to do anything. Um, but I did get my gloves of haste, so we no longer need the Well, we still do need the lump of coal, actually. But I will sell the sword for the, um, for the gloves and then do that. Get some space so we can still use our piggy. And, um... Let's just get another pig. Why not? We need money. I might as well. I was going to get the banana, but I wasn't going to be able to fit it without like putting the piggy down. I didn't want to do that. So, um, but yeah, so we got shovel with the torch double banana. I'm pretty sure we win this one. I don't know how or why, but we did and I'm happy. So now we have our claws of attack and we only lost one. So this is going very well so far. I'm going to get the fanny pack here. Um, my brain is telling me to get the stone skin potion because I feel like it can be very helpful later down the line once we get something to activate it with like a health potion but i need the health potion to turn this into a torch so realistically it'd probably be a poison potion and that's also expensive um and i want to roll so i'm not going to get that actually i don't want anything here i mean getting the whetstone here would probably be good to increase the damage of both of them by one is for gold acorn collar could be okay uh, pass okay this was a little bit better because we have mana orb, which I, I don't really need mana for anything right now. Um, and I also don't have clover. So honestly, I could get a fanny pack to make this 20% faster and then get the lump of coal and put it on the uh, claws of attack. I think that's I think that's better. I think that's better. We're not using crit for anything. We don't have any clover. So putting it inside the ranger sack doesn't matter. So putting it inside of a fanny pack is probably the better play. And I got three gold here. I'm going to roll. I could get double f uh, uh, survivability for yeah. For survivability's sake, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it for the sake of surviving. Making things faster, getting that extra heal or getting that extra resistance. Not too bad of a play. Um, going against Shovel. He's also got Spike Shield. He's also got a health potion. A little bit of regeneration, a little bit of health, and a torch with life still on it. Um, so, ooh. He just used his health potion. I think that's game. Yeah, for sure. Good game. No, good game. Good game. It's okay. Good game. Good game. There goes our health potion. We also got a customer card. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and buy this so I can like actually like spin for slots. And we also need a walrus chest because I want to have two claws of attack. If I can find me a blueberry though, that would be beautiful. <laughs> game doesn't like me. I'm actually not going to go for the daggers. Not this early, at least. I'm going to wait until I turn this into a uh, a mana torch before I try to go for the daggers. Um, but yeah, we should definitely beat this guy 
If he if this guy was hatched, I think we would have lost if he had the dragon, but too bad. Um, let's go ahead and buy you a box of riches. We need some space though. I want a different space than that. <clears throat> I might have been too picky there. Asking for different space. Um It's a dagger on sale. I gotta get it. It's on sale. There goes the space I want. And ooh. There goes the blood amulet I want. Um, and then we can get this lump of coal. Alright, cool, 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 cool. I just realized I didn't put stuff in in my I didn't put anything in there for the last battle. Uh, oh well. Hell potion, we definitely need that. Box of riches for money, I suppose. Customer car would be nice. We can we could put the piggy bank down for the customer. Well, actually, no, we'll just we'll switch that out before we start rolling next round. I think that'll be better. Um, so, yeah, we'll just roll with this. Huh. Going to get to hammer build. It's got triple daggers, too. We should definitely lose against this guy um, unless we're just cracked, which I don't believe we are. So unless we are and I just doubt it myself, I think we are. And I kind of just doubt it myself. I'll take that W though. Thank you. Now, the question is, what are we going to do here? Because I really don't know. We gotta go piercing arrow. Piercing arrow probably is the best play. That or leaf. Or what if we don't do either? Nah, let's go piercing arrow. Let's not risk it. Let's not risk that. Um, I could go bloody dagger. For the vampirism, I guess. Um... But I kind of just want to go vampiric gloves, realistically. That's what I really want to do is just go vampiric gloves. But I don't have gloves to go vampiric gloves with, unfortunately. And I still don't have a blueberry for the mana torch. Our DPS is going to be extremely lacking soon. But I will buy that. Um, I'm going to buy this as well because I'm going to need it. So, yeah, I'm just going to figure out how. I mean, we could really just set this up however we want to honestly um we know that the weapons need to be in here because that's just how the weapons need to be <laughs> they just need to be in here um like that like that is totally fine and then we can just we could keep the... Wait, let's just sell the garlic i guess for a blueberry which is beautiful honestly and we could sell that jewel um and sell another garlic? I really don't want to. I feel like that's the closest thing that I would probably sell here, though. To be honest. Oh, I can sell a piggy. Let's sell a piggy. Sell a piggy. Get the blueberry. We could put it there for the um, banana. Turn that into a mana potion. Um, and then this can just go in that slot right there. Let's go jewel. Um, whoops, did not want to do that. I wonder if I could just, because I want to make these faster, but then I won't be able to put it like that. So that's probably not going to be able to happen. Unless I like put it all the way on the edge. Like that, that would work. Yeah, it works. Awesome. And we could just put that in there and that uh, stays inside of the uh, crit range, which is good. That can go on the top. Jewel, customer card, mana orb for no reason. And then, um... Sus, which I don't want that to be in a spectral dagger. Um, I'd rather have that be a bloody, bloody dagger, but I do not want to combine that yet. All right, I think this is good. Let's roll again. Ooh, seven gold. That's on sale. That's a good sale. Let's roll again. Okay, there's the gloves of haste that I need. The question is, will I turn this gloves of haste into another claws of attack, which was the original plan? Or do I turn it into vampiric gloves? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I really don't know yet. But let's hope we win this one. Going against magic staff, lightsaber, with a little bit of a mana potion. Um, for no reason it seems. So it's pretty much. Oh, never, never mind. He's got the magic staff. Um, I mean we might be able to win this because of crit. He does have poison on the side, but it looks like yeah, we definitely win because of crit. Nice. We needed that W too. So boom, mana potion. Let's go ahead and just buy the fanny pack to put this here to turn that into a magic, um, a magic torch. Um, we got mana generation because of the mana orb. So realistically, we kind of just don't need the other one, but I do want to get the other one. 
Um, I definitely need the gloves of haste. I say we just turn this into vampiric gloves. I value vampiric gloves over the bloody dagger. Honestly. Just having that five vampirism is good, but that 35% faster is even better. And then this just you just gain one. I mean up to four, right? Which isn't much. Um, and it also doesn't have that 35% faster. So I value this over the um over bloody dagger and then the claws of attack would be really nice to be honest but we also have piercing arrow which i think was a mistake because i would like to have two different forms of dps which i could just put in the claws of heck a little i could just put a claws of attack on this side but i already have the dagger which i could just do that instead which i think that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna sell the other piggy we have because i want money cbh um and then we could just put that there put that there and let's roll okay we got another mana orb i'll buy that do we need three mana orbs though i don't think so i honestly don't think we need three mana orbs i'm not gonna have a spectral dagger um and this is just for mana generation for the mana torch i mean we could turn this into a spectral dagger because we have two mana orbs now and there's nothing else I'd rather use a mana orb on. So that's an option we have. I might have been trigger happy and bought that for no reason. Maybe. Um, but I do want a bird. But I also need space. So that's something we got to be worried about. Hopefully we can win this next one though. I should have probably made, made this gloves actually hit something that was worthwhile. Going against Bloody Goobert, Poison Goobert with cars. We should definitely win this one. It looks like he's trying to go for a four Goobert build. Um, which isn't bad, but like... I feel like he just doesn't have any good forms of DPS on him in order to, like, actually beat us. So, yeah. I'll take that W, bro. Thank you. All right. Nice. So, now that we have this situation going, having the piercing arrow here is a little bit annoying, if I'm being dead ass. Um, because the magic arrow, it has to, like, increase the damage of something, right? Which I'd rather it be the claws of attack since it attacks faster than the, uh, than the dagger. This is 3.5, claws of attack 1.6, right? So we could keep it like this, but I feel like I'm not getting my full value out of the magic torch unless I move this over like that. Or maybe just activate the piercing arrow from a different form other than my weapons, which can be the food. So we could do a little situation like this. Um, and then maybe have piercing arrow be like here. We could put the... Uh, we could put the shield there and then food can just go in these areas, I suppose. That would work. And we don't need, you know, we do need crit, but still, we don't need like a, you know, an insane amount. You know what I mean? Like that works. At least we'll have three different forms of activation. We're getting our magic torch having, you know, I keep saying, you know, a lot. We got our magic torch uh, activating two different forms of weapons. I'm just going to put that on the magic torch. I feel like that being as fast as possible is way more important than the dagger being fast or the claws of attack being fast. Um, so, yeah, we could go ahead and buy the bird now. I want the bird. How far do you reach? That's actually really good because that also activates, which is really, really good. And it hits the banana. I, mainly, I wanted to hit all of the weapons. That's the main thing um so yeah eventually i want to sell the banana and stuff eventually i'm actually going to put the garlic here because it's a little bit faster by default and then the banana is just going to help it the dps this should be enough mana uh generation for the magic torch so technically we don't need this on the field but i will have it on the field for the sake of having it on the field um i'm actually going to try I, this is the reason I wanted the jewels because of the stamina generation one, but also because of the heat. I want these weapons to try to be as fast as possible. That's literally my goal to be as fast as possible and literally using vampirism as its form of healing. So we're not going to try to go. I mean, I do want a book of light, but we're not going to be heavy on book of lights or anything like that. I want the form of healing to be vampirism. Um, and then just to have my weapons to be really, really fast and use the jewels for the stamina generation when those weapons do get really, really fast. That's the whole plan. I don't know if it'll work, but I hope it does. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Um, likewise, I could put vampirism jewels on the weapons themselves, which I'll probably do that. I'll probably do that. Put vampirism jewels on the weapons itself. I'm just turning the coals into heat coals because that is smart. But yeah, um, I will probably get another 
box of riches. Let's just buy this for space to put this box of riches in. That's probably smart. Um, and we could just roll with this. I think that's good. Say to protect the purse, obviously. Always. Ooh, we'll probably lose this. Every time I see a Fortuna's Grace, I get scared, but this Fortuna's Grace isn't on a weapon. Why do you just have the hero sword here? You could literally turn it and get the critical on your hero sword along with the I don't I don't understand people sometimes. I really don't. But um going against this guy. Interestingly enough, he does have potions, which is concerning, but it seems like we're gonna be able to out DPS him because he probably just messed up his build somehow. Um unfortunate, but it is what it is, I suppose. We might need better mana generation. I mean, our mana generation, never mind. Our mana generation is solid. It looked like we needed it for a second there, but yeah. Good game. I'll take that. Thank you. Okay, got our first burning coal, which is good. Interesting that we got a book of light on sale, and we also got another uh, blood amulet, which getting a vampiric or a bloody dagger here might not be too bad because it will gain that vampirism for us, and it'll heal every vamp. It'll heal to every vampiric item which we can use that on the um on the vampiric gloves eventually eventually so we could buy this well we got 13 gold getting the book of light could be nice especially since we already have a mana orb we could sell the spike shield yeah let's do that sell the spike shield that'll give us four gold we could use the book of life here for another form of activation and then we could put the mana orb um Damn, it will have to be here. Where are those activations? What if I move this down by one? Oh, I could do that. I can move this down by one. So the Claws of Attack can act as an activation as well, which is good. Use the Mana Orb here, so it's on the Book of Light and everything for activations. That is actually a really good play. I should have done that earlier. Um, And then we can... So the burning coal after five seconds gives you five or gives you two heat, which is pretty much 4% faster every five seconds, which is why I want these. Um, but I need space right now. So I'll buy you for space. We can honestly just sell a banana for space too. I don't think we need the bananas anymore, even though they do healing, right? But this is every five seconds. So is the coal. The cold is literally every five seconds. This is pretty much a banana as far as like the speed goes or whatever. So I'm gonna sell this banana. Um, I can use this, but I want this inside the bird too, which is, might be a problem. So yeah, I want that in the bird. We're going to put that in the bird instead. I think that's better. I think that's better. Um, and now I'm just going to move it down by one. So that can turn into a burning coal as well. I think that's good. We need space though. <laughs> we need so much space right now. That is so sexy, but I don't want it. I'm not gonna get it. Every 3.5 seconds, it fill it one slow. <sighs> or just inflict. Maybe I should get this. For the mana generation. For the book of life, maybe? Damn, it's 16 gold though. Pass. Just because of 16. We did get another gloves of haste. Y'all know how I like my gloves of haste. I'm buying this. Just for the closet attack, we can reserve the protective purse and we can also get another dagger. And then there's a gold chip ruby for that 10% um, life still, which is good. Um, man, the look at the look at this versus the burning coal versus the chip toast pass. Every eleven seconds you gain one heat. This one's every five seconds you gain two. That is so much better. But this gives you stamina, which is why I'm using it. But other than that, so much better, so much better. Let's actually buy this now, so I can start using that. Um. I'm gonna sell this banana. Sell that banana so I can move this over. And then put that there to get that uh get that speed up, which I think is good. I can even just switch this around like that. Cause it's inside the fanny pack now. Even better. And I think that's good. Uh and let's buy this one since we got money now. I think that's good. More bananas? Nah, we got this. We got this. Going against looks like a a hammer, hero sword, and a spectral dagger build. We don't generate any shield except for the garlic. So spectral daggers, I mean, other than this mana generation, shouldn't be too big of a problem. Um, let's see how fast we get it though. How how fast we generate our heat. Um, ooh, that was a big hit. 
That was a big hit on us. Okay, hold up now. Oh, we should definitely lose this one. Yeah, we need we either need like we need a lot of everything. We're getting there though, but we definitely need a lot of everything. Um, boom, there goes our claws of attack. So this is definitely gonna go there. Um, this can I move down by one? I can't move at all. Dang, I was trying to put this here. Cause that would be good. Unless I move it like that. But then we lose out on an activation. Which is not the best. Or I could also do this. And then it's okay. Heck yeah. Okay, that works. That actually works. And I could do the same thing on the other side too. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, awesome. Um, we're moving you over. Like so. And then I can put my garlic back for more activations and this can go here would actually work i'm at the eventually get me another bird i think <laughs> um i'm actually gonna put you there or you know what we could just sell the garlic now, honestly. That is an option that we have. Sell garlic. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this guy as well. So now all of those are 10% uh, life steal, which is good. That'll help us out with survivability. Um, to move these over here i suppose so that they can activate these coals real quick i do need one more activation somewhere though i think and it's got to be here for sure which i could i could do this should i start nah no spectral dagger no 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 i'm gonna need that mana generation for the book of lives and that's why I'm not going to turn into a Spectral Dagger. Okay, I think this works. I think this works. The only thing is, ah, I feel like I should turn this into a Vampiric. But I also want me another Vampiric Gloves. I'm being stingy with the Vampiric Gloves right now. Versus turning it into uh, a Bloody Dagger. Bloody Dagger would help because it heals two per star. Which this will count as a star. But Vampiric Gloves will just be so much better. Alright, let's roll. He crit twice? What a lucky man. Lucky, lucky. Alright, going against... I don't know why he doesn't have his health potions touching each other, but he just doesn't. But yeah, going against dude with a lightsaber shovel. Looks like a crit build as well. And he's also got Carrie Goobert with a bunch of food so far the battle looks tied we're generating enough mana it seems to be able to use that book of life which should proc right about now which is beautiful so we should be able to just take this w here honestly definitely should be able to take this w well we only generated four heat so far oh we only have two of these okay that makes sense that makes sense the more of those we get the better which we just got a lot which is good Oh, and we got double uh, toe passes here. I feel like we should probably start combining those. Let's buy you. Do we need a blueberry? I don't think we need a blueberry. We generate enough mana already. For everything we need. So we definitely don't need a new blueberry. Getting another book of light would be nice. To be honest. Just got to figure out where I'm going to put it. Let's combine those two. Um, then I can move one or never mind. I don't have to move any of those. Yeah, I can though, just so we can combine those. And then let's also just combine those two and then move that there, I suppose. Should I give me a book of life? Man, I'm so not... Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. I, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it for healing. And since we were literally like... 
almost there anyways. It also helps with activations too. Which I could just move it here for the sake of activating. Because this is going to activate on that mana orb plus that mana orb and the piercing arrow, which is good. Every 2.5 seconds, so I think that's way better. Oh, that's a lot of mana orbs. Oh no, this is bad. This looks like a like a build build. He's got the magic torch for Tuna's Grace with Falcon Blade on a piercing arrow. He's going to be critting. He's going to be double attacking. Double attacking twice, by the way. DPS is going to be crazy for him. Absolutely insane. We're starting to become out of stamina as well, which is really, really bad. Very bad. We're a little bit too fast at this point. How are we winning? It's because of Book of Lives. Oh my god. You gotta get you some Book of Lives, my friend. You end up getting uh end up getting 20 mana there. He's definitely gotta get him some Book of Lives. But yeah, we got a we got a stamina issue, which I'm I was hoping to solve with my chip toe passes, but uh looks like I'm gonna need some better chip toy passes. There, uh, speaking of chip toe passes. We found one. We should probably just go ahead and turn this into a bloody dagger now that we have this blood amulet. And then buy that. Um, I just bought a blood amulet too. I like it. Give me that. Um, another lump of coal will just make things a lot faster. <laughs> we need mana generation. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna put you there. Let's not combine you two. And what is this? Every nine seconds. Better than no seconds, I guess. We can move this up, but it won't help with our mana generation. I want all the jewels to be inside of this bird. Actually, moving that up by one would be good. And even moving the bird itself in double fanny packs would be even better. Um, and I can move the, these down because that's an open square right there for stamina. Um, we can even put the freaking gloves of haste on the freaking topaz for stamina. <laughs> Why put it on the weapons? You know what I mean? Just put it on the, the freaking gloves of haste. Why not? You need the stamina anyways. Might as well. And we could turn that into a bloody dagger. And I could sell this. Let's do it. Let's sell you for a lump of coal. In order to turn a lump of coal into a... Uh, a burning coal. All right, that's good. I think that's really good. Okay, going against a great sword. All right, I see you, Mr. Great Sword. You got any, uh, oh. All right, let's hope you don't proc because <laughs> you already do 40 to 50 damage. Let's hope you don't proc and start doing like 100. You don't crit, do you? Okay, just life still. Okay, we might be okay then. Might be okay. We're getting a little bit better. Stamina generation is still an issue though, unfortunately. So they're still a little bit too fast, but it's not as bad as last round, I don't think. Out of stamina there. Out of stamina there. Out of stamina there. Definitely not as bad as last round, but um, we're getting we're getting there. We're getting there. We just need our little toe passes to be slightly faster. Big combination there though, which is awesome. Um let's switch these two around. That's just better. We can sell these two. I don't need any. I don't need I don't need them. And we can I need something here for that 35% faster. Which will probably be just another chip toe pass. So let's buy some space. Put that there. I can buy you. Switch you guys around. Definitely need you. We need you for a combination. I don't need another bloody dagger or a dagger in general, right? Yeah, I definitely don't need another dagger in general. I feel like I have to get that. It's on sale. And we got another chip toe pass, which is good. Cap of resilience might not be bad for the reduced damage taken, just in case. Might not be too shabby. Hmm. 
trying to figure out if there's a better spot to put this other than here. I feel like there could be. Just don't know where. I'd rather use it for activations. I could put it there, actually. Help us out with mana generation. All right, I think this is good. I think this is good. I could even say no to this bloody dagger being here. And um, put this flawed emerald there instead. For the sake of stamina. Let's try that, actually. I'm going to do that. Just for the sake of stamina. So now that would be, what, 45% faster? I wish I could put it here. Plus the vampiric gloves would be crazy. But yeah, moving this up by one is not good, I don't think. I need to get me another bird, though. I could give me another bird and, like, do this, which would be good. So the first bird we see, we need to buy that for sure. Put that there, though. Oh, no, I'm dumb. That needs to go there. Crap. Let's just put that there. Yeah. Or actually, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Need more space, but yeah, that's good. That's good. All right, let's see how we do versus this thing. Oh, that looks dangerous. Fencing rapier with the ripshaw blade, spectre dagger, and a mana thirst. Interesting. He only has one form of mana generation, though. No, the mana thirst actually generates mana for the spectral dagger, more than likely. Okay, interesting. But we're about to get our DPS up here. We already got our vampirism going. Book of Life's uh, putting in work. Let me get another um, invulner invincibility, please, before I keep taking that critical damage. Thank you. There we go. Still, still really bad on stamina, though, unfortunately. The jewels are trying their best. Now we're tied. Let me get another one. Let me get let me get my third one in there. There we go. Now the build's cooking. Now the build is cooking. We should be straight here on out now. Unless he just I don't think his build scales as good as ours. Our build kind of just scales infinitely. We use the book of lice to take no damage and then by the time that our book of lice are over with, we're good. And we we we're, we're skilled enough. We have our crit, we got our vampirism, we got the heat. We just need more stamina. We just need more stamina, and that's pretty much it. Infinite power. So this was every five seconds. What was it originally? It was like, was it 11? No, it was 11. So this is this just went to 5.73. 4.81. I mean, a one second difference is a difference, I guess. But I feel like it'll be better if we just have more jewels versus making the jewels we have faster. What do you think? Oh, I wish that jewel counted as a uh, heal per two. That should count. Whatever. <laughs> that should low key count though. Um, could just put those there, I guess. So we need space. So let's get space. Let's get the jewel. Let's get. Well, yeah, we can get this. Um, we don't need any of that. We can get you for combination purposes. Even getting a heroic potion might be worth. Maybe, 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 maybe. Move that there. Combination. All right, I think this is good. I think that's good. I think that's good. All right, let's see how we do versus a poison build. Okay, so we both wrap up. We both aren't like super overpowered at the beginning of the game. We both need time to uh, get our damage going. Okay. All right, I kind of like that. Let's see who uh, who triumphs here, actually. Um, do we cleanse poison or something? We got rid of his debuff somehow at the beginning. We're not anymore, but we kind of did. It was weird. But anyways, he's always got a lot of poison on us, which is very concerning. Um, I wish we had a lot more stamina right now. That is definitely our bottleneck is just stamina. 
But we got one more book of life in us. He's already got 47 poison on us. We're a little bit tied right now. Last book of life just popped. We should be able to take this one home. Um, just because of the book of lives, honestly. And game over. Good game, good game. Uh, what do you give me? Nothing that I want. Let's get you acorn collar. Could be okay for crit. We could even put it right there, too. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Um, we don't have a blood amulet. Is there anything I want to make faster? There's a lot of things I want to make faster, but let's just buy it. We'll buy it. And we'll also buy the gloves of haste. All right. I think those were good cops there. Um, I don't want to put it on you specifically. All of my stamina jewels have one though. <laughs> Literally all of them. At this point, we just need more stamina jewels. So let's switch you out. Everything's fast enough. So we don't even need those to be faster. Everything is pretty damn fast. Unless we move this whole entire situation. Well, no, that wouldn't work. Let's put that there. I, I guess we can do that. Um, well, yeah, we don't need to make the weapons faster because the weapons are already super fast. We just need more stamina. And we can dish out more DPS with that. Our survivability is okay. The more damage we can dish out, because we have the flawless rubies, the more we can get our uh, life back from. And the vampirism gloves that we have. So, we just need stamina. That's the only thing we need to focus on here, is stamina. Okay. That's it. Going against a Tuscan Piercer with a um, Ripshaw Blade with a triple burning coal on it. What was that 12, 24, 36% chance to what deal plus six damage and gaining the heat as well. And he's also got three ruby warps on him. Pretty dangerous build. I'm gonna need my uh haha. I mean there you go. Come on, proc for me. Proc, please, please. There we go. Get my health back. Do a little bit more scaling while I'm at it. Also dishing out that DPS. I'm thinking the game's over already. He's already at half health. We only we've only used one book of life. There goes the second one, and you're about dead, my friend. You are about dead. Good game, good game. There goes another one of you, but this is the last round, so we that kind of just doesn't matter. I could honestly, well, I could honestly just put it on the bloody dagger for that uh heal plus two for no reason. Um, yeah, let's do that. Roll. Oh, definitely needed you. Question is where I'm gonna put you. Do I need this? Oh yeah, this does heal, do healing as amplified by ten percent. I could put you on the... I didn't even think about that. Put you on the hat. That's actually really good. Um, I'd rather you be on the other side of this gloves of haste, I'm being honest. Just switch you out. No combine. Well, I guess the combine doesn't matter since this is the last round. And let's actually move these over. Like that. Make both of those 40% faster. For the sake of stamina. Alright, I think this is good. I think this is good. Don't need protective purse. I kind of want this. <laughs> it's only four gold. I kind of want it. I can sell this for it. Even though I don't want to, I'm going to sell it. And just put it there. Just to inflict slowness on them for no reason. All right, going against. Um, I I'm surprised I haven't seen ran into someone else using the magic torch. But yeah, this is mana thirst build with spectral dagger, double spectral dagger, bloody goober with the magic staff, and a bunch of degen lamps, double degen lamp, and a lot of potions. Holy Jesus! This man's survivability is on point. This is going to be a really, really long battle because of his survivability. There goes our um, vampirism popping. Our actually, look at our stamina. It's actually not bad. Kinda. I take that back. Actually, it kind of just got worse as soon as I said that. He is inflicting slowness on us, though. There goes our second book of life procking. Um, there goes our healing. His potions are starting to proc. Our last book of life is about to proc soon. Right there. 
He does have a lot of shield, but that's pretty much gone. Game is pretty much tied, but this entire time we increased in damage. And we also got critical. Come on. There we go. There we go. That was not a... This is my first time trying this build. That was not a bad build. I think we did fine. Having three Book of Lies really helped us, though, because this is, what, 24, 27, 24, 26... Um, and then this one was 24, 26, having that 16 vampirism along with the amplify healing and uh, um, the life still helped us out with survivability a lot in order for our weapons to ramp up. And considering the fact we ran out of stamina lock and we had what is this a 34 percent slowed on us and still running out of stamina. I don't think we were going to be able to generate enough stamina at all, you know. At all we were going 30 percent slower for everything and still wasn't able to generate enough well that also means the jewels were slower never mind i take that back but still like i still think we did really good i feel like maybe just having stamina potions is probably the, <laughs> it's probably the better thing to do versus having the jewels of stamina um just just rock a whole bunch of stamina potions that's probably better but um yeah i think we did really good considering that was actually um that was mad fun